What is up heroes and welcome back to Small Pokemon Sword. Today we start the post game and I love the fact the title screen is now like the Hall of Fame. You can see the sick Pokemon I used to defeat Champion Leon. Well, ex-Champion Leon, now with a champion. Let's load the game up and start the post game. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm assuming we're going to try and capture Zacian. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing the game wants us to head back there. Oh. Ooh, Magnolia. Congratulations, champion. Here, we've got a little something for you as a celebration. Ooh, a Master Ball. Nice. The best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. Professor Magnolia. Why? Do not come all this way. After everything Forty has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy uh, flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Voltsy and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of the Galarian culture. Hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young Voltsy, please, do what you believe is best. I will. Alright, poor Professor Magnolia. Seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions. Since she uh, helped carry out so much of the research into Dynamax in the forum. Huh, kind of sucks. Alright, so uh, I guess we go see Zacian next. And Zama Center. Also, like, it's really annoying. Like, I know the region's pronounced Gala. But a lot of times I keep saying Galar because I keep saying Galarian. Like, Galarian form Meow, for example. And it just rolls off the tongue as Galar. But I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Gala. But anyway... Let's go through here again, and avoid all this stuff, and we've got a Hoot Hoot! Alright, cool. Just gonna <laughs> run away. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of post-game, and I've got to do a lot of exploring and try to find out what we can actually do, but I'm gonna be doing some streams on the channel. I think we're gonna stream Shiny Hunt and uh, Impidimp first, because I really want a Shiny Impidimp. Okay, that looks so cool. If you guys know like any awesome looking shinies in this game, do let me know in the comments down below and we'll try and get them. Because I'm not the biggest shiny hunter, I don't like shiny hunting everything, I just like shiny hunting things that look cool. And to me, Impidimp looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go this way? No, it's a dead end. There's that like TM over there, I don't know how to get- wait, can we actually do this? Oh, we can. Okay. So Muna. That's what I missed. Oh, a life orb. Sweet. Alright. How do I get that TM? There's a log there. I'm guessing I have to go across that log. However, we get to that. Another dead end. I will get that TM. I missed it, uh, not last episode, but when we came here before taking on Eternatus. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I really hope I am, but oh, okay, up here. So I miss this little area. Oh, there's an item there. Elixir, nice. And we get a Phantom Force. Alright, cool. Right, now let's head to the, uh... Don't you really call it the Shrine area? <laughs> the place that really looks like where the Master Sword should be from like, the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> It's a really beautiful looking place. Alright, let's just run once your ability's done kicking in. Also, I need to go around and catch everything, so I want to get the shiny charm. Oh, almost walked on top of that. Do not want to go on that Stumpfisk uh, trap. Wait, can we go down here as well? No. I'm going to quickly save it here, just in case a cutscene happens with Zacian right away. I'm not going to use the Master Ball as well. I might use it if it, you know, ends up we're going to have to use it. But if we can catch it without using the Master Ball, then great. Oh, Hop's here. Yo. Huh, Voltsy. What are you doing here in the woods? Eh, the truth is... Actually, no, what about you? What are you doing here? Nobody ever comes in here? 
Since this is the forest where Zassin and Zamacenta rested, it's the best place to do a bit of thinking. Since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt like something was calling you here, Voltsy? That's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, I had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Voltsy. Honestly, Voltsy, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Gala ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's, like, it's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Voltsy. Oh, no, stop, stop. No, please keep going. So amazing, maybe that I don't even realise just how amazing you really are. Voltsy, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Voltsy. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are. Just say the word. Uh... Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. This will be a serious battle. Ready for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it. <laughs> I like that him and Lee both did the little, like, face slap thing. They really are brothers. This could potentially be the final battle with, um, let's say Hal. I keep on calling him Hal so much, but hop. Right, uh, gonna go for a Psychic. Maybe I should just, like, stock up on a few, uh, Calm Minds and then, oh wow, okay, never mind. Never mind. Hey, we got the special defense drop. Nice. And we got one more psychic, although. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think it'll take us out. One thing I want to take away from this game, though, it's. It's got a very good soundtrack. I'm hoping the post game will be really interesting because the story, the story was okay. It just it wasn't. Actually, to be fair, the story wasn't. It wasn't really about stopping a bad guy. Obviously, we stopped. Oh wow, we have one HP. Realize now. Obviously, we stopped. The, you know, the chairman from doing some bad stuff. But that was kind of just at the end. That was kind of like a, a thing that was just added on. The, the main story of this game is just becoming the best Pokemon trainer in the Gala region. Which I guess what really a Pokemon journey is all about, but... I don't know, I just kind of felt the story is a little bit uh, lacking in this game. Like, no secret base to go through, no evil team to take on. Like, Team Yell weren't really evil. Like, you know how Team Skull, they, they were evil, but they weren't... They weren't that evil, they were like kind of more like a nuisance. Like, Team Yell were just not even a slight bit evil, they were just a bit of a nuisance. And some of the stuff they were doing weren't even that bad, like... Wasn't letting us pass because the Silicobra was sleeping. I mean, that's, that's a nice thing to do for the Pokemon. <laughs> anyway. Doesn't matter now. We're on the post game. Snorlax, uh. We. Doing the Cinderace. this music, man. Alright, Pyro Ball. Please don't miss. Not bad, not bad. High horsepower, okay. Ouch. It's fine, it's fine. We've got to, we've got to switch, because we can't take another high horsepower. It's a ground-type move, right? So Corviknight should be able to just, obviously, not get affected by it. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, ground-type move. Good, we good. Alright, let's go for a drill pack. Nice. Hammer arm, yeah, it should be fine. Speed drop, all good. One more drill pack, finish you off. Oh, forest door or not? Maybe we won't be finishing you off just yet. Oh man, forest doors. Did I? I'm pretty sure Leon didn't use any forest doors in our battle, did he? Not that I can remember, anyway. Hammer arm, yeah, we're fine. Alright, one more drill pack. Good. Alright, three Pokemon left. We know he's got uh, his own Corviknight. He's 
got Rala Boom and something else. Chroma Run, okay. Uh, we'll just go to Tortra City and we'll go for an Overdrive. Oh, I found out how to get the yellow one. So with Tortra City, Toxel will evolve into the blue form or the yellow form, depending on its nature. Which I think is uh, kind of cool, but kind of annoying that we can't change it. Might, might have to like breed this thing to try and get another Toxel or get the right nature. I don't know what the natures are to get the, um, the yellow one. I saw someone tweet a chart and I was like, oh, okay. Makes sense. Will he still spit out at me if I kill him in one hit? Yes, he will. Okay, oh, wow, there's a lot of damage. That's actually not a bad ability at all. <laughs> I thought maybe, like, when I first saw it, if you take it out in one hit, the ability won't kick in, but the fact that it does, that's actually, actually kind of good. <laughs> I, mean, still don't, I still don't want to use it on the team at all, but it's not a bad ability. It's definitely fun when the Pikachu's in the mouth. Right, let's go Pyro Ball. No Dynamax in here, boy. And I think the last Pokemon's Corviknight, right? Actually, did we have Corviknight? She had the Chroma Rank. Was that your last Pokemon? I don't even... I've lost count. No, you still have Corviknight, okay. I was gonna say. He's got like a very weird team. I wouldn't expect like a rival to have this sort of team, you know? That's still cool. Oh, get wrecked, Corviknight. Hey, 62 and 59. Uh, court change, what is this? Uh, with this mysterious power, the user swaps the effects on either side of the field. Okay. I'm gonna say no, but... Sounds alright. So all these moves are probably good for competitive battling. I don't competitive battle, so... I just enjoy playing the story. <laughs> I don't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Really, I'm the champion. How could you not? I beat your brother. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. If it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya, Foltzy, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Taking it all in stride like I sure do, eh? You cheeky thing. <laughs> what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just long for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Ah, here. It's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. Ooh. Sweet. Uh, her new discoveries about the Galar region's legends and recorded in the enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Ah, oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway. I got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Voltsy, you both amaze me. You've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you young'uns doing here? Uh, all right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place. You can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We what? Yeah, uh, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. <laughs> You've got entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of you are besties now with Zassian and Zamacenter or something? A little bit, yeah. That must be it, Voltsy. Why you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zassian and Zamacenter again someday. Oh man. See, I feel like this game's setting up for like a sequel because like, Sonya could be the professor to like give you your Pokemon. You got Marnie and Beedee as gym leaders. Well, I say Marnie as gym leader. I don't know if she can take over um, Piers as gym. You might do. We got um, us as champion. That'd be really cool. But let's do this. Turn the rusted sword. Yep. Zassian, Zama Center. Thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. Looks really cool. You and Hop return the rusted sword and rusted shield. 
When it's inside the stone like that, it looks really sweet. Alright, that about settles that. Faulty, why don't you and I head back? What are you gonna do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I'll do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm, my power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Okay, his hair's shaped like a sword and <laughs> never shaped like a shield. Um, okay. Well, well, well. You wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Gala, a history? Uh, uh, hello? You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Wrote it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies. So we get it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Swordwood. I am Shieldbert. <laughs> we are the new kings of Gala. We're, des we're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? <laughs> well, well, well. Could these things be here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. It must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Uh oh, that's not good. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just return them. Oh, do shut up. We only happen to pick up some things that we dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But there's no way anyone could prove who uh, those ancient things belong to. And if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zassian and Zama Center. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, and yet so pushy. If, it, if it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. Oh, okay. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Sword, am your opponent. <laughs> this is like... These two are like more evil than anything we've seen in the game so far. Like... Oh man. See, depending on how this, like, post-game goes, like, it'd be really cool if these actually are descendants of the throne and they end up trying to be evil and then they could, they could really set up, like, a sword and shield too. Like, I would not mind that. If, they, if they're gonna do a another sword and shield game, like, another game in the Gala region, just, I hope it's not like a, um, ultra sword and shield, but it's more like, you know, how Black and White 2 was. Because Black and White 2, we saw, so much better than Black and White 1. And this game was, like, I think this game's, like, just a bit above average, I'd say. But if they can improve on the things that I don't like, and make it like Black and White 2, or Black and White 2 is my favorite Pokemon game, then potentially, you know, Sword and Shield 2 could be my favorite sort of Pokemon game. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we should probably switch out for this. <laughs> oh, we're still super weak from, um, uh, from Hops Battle. Let's try and take you out with uh, there's nothing we can really do. I'm just going to have to take a hit and hope Cinderace can live. <laughs> That's such funny hair. Can't stop staring at his hair. Like, how much hair gel and hairspray is he going to... Oh, wow, he didn't live. Critical hit. Great. How much hair gel and hairspray does this guy, like, put in his hair every morning? Oh, it's just crazy. So I'm telling you, when my hair gets a little bit too long, because I put my, like, my, my hair up a little bit, it's hard to put up when it's too long. That dude's hair is so much longer than mine. Uh, let's... Let's just go to a, to a Ternatus, and we'll go for a Flamethrower. Oh, look at this bad boy. I still find it so weird that we got to keep this Pokemon. Like, where did it even come from? There's gonna be some backstory to this we can find somewhere. You know, like we go to a library, we can find a book or something. This Pokemon just looks so evil. <laughs> uh, Dewblade, uh, yeah, we can stay in. This guy's definitely a still type trainer then. Another flamethrower! I'm guessing if you play Pokemon Shield, uh, the Shield Barrel Battle, you know. And goal is upon. Okay, not entirely a Steel Type Trainer, but we can go into Corviknight here and go for a Brave Bird. Absolutely wreck this dude now. 
You ain't living no way. Hmm, that's enough faffing around. So it's time to get serious. Let's see about that. Getting serious with a Galissapod? Who are you, Guzma? You ain't Guzma, man. Guzma's so much cooler than you. Love Guzma, he's such a cool character, but anyway. You can get wrecked. He's got funny hair. Oh, how can you take him seriously with that hair, man? Oh, I would love it if we could get that hairstyle in the game now. <laughs> Go to the hairdresser and come out looking like that. Oh, how can this be? My, my Pokemon. He's got a pretty good team, to be fair. He's about to me. Somehow, to somehow I've defeated the adorable Pokemon I go, I go strolling with. It's certainly strong. However, it appears that my younger brother was victor victorious. Oh, come on, Hop, you let the team down. Sorry, Voltsy, I lost to him. Haha, <laughs> something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Older brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, ho, now I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural of our ancestor so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute! Destroying the mural of our family has held in such a high esteem for so long. Well, to be fair, that mural was kind of kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. What was behind it was pretty cool. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zassina and the others? And hold on a moment. Bozzi wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time? We shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, stop. Get back that rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Typical Hop man, always <laughs> running off, but ah, uh, that kid. He's gonna recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Voltsy. I expected as much. Man, I'm always calm. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it? His own rival became the new champion. His goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, S Swordwood and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about who those two weirdos went, or where those two weirdos went. Should we go over at the lab in Wedgehurst? Uh, I'm worried about Hop. I get it, you feel responsible for him and want to help him as soon as you can, right? Okay, we'll meet up later, then I'll head back to the lab. Alright. Oh well, going back here. Well, I think it's a great part to end this episode off. Next episode, we'll go and meet up with Sonya, find out where the weirdos went, and then get the shield back, and uh, maybe we can try and capture Sassian. Maybe it's like um, Black and White, where because we got the sword game, we'll end up catching Samus Center. I doubt it, but... Man, that was, a, that was a good twist of Black and White. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.